right. Uh, we're going to do Lovecraft Letter today, which is a uh, playoff from Z-Man Games of the Love Letter. And I got a... What, what did we say this at? A $29.99 price point? MSRP, $30? Yeah. And, and I got to tell you how impressed I am. Because my first thought was, wow, $30... Most of these games are at about a twenty dollar price point, but and even some of the newer ones. But even the insert is lined. You got a really nice magnetic box that looks like a book. Um, and these are like real poker chip instead of cardboard tokens. Ooh. And I think the big one for me was the fact that it actually came with. Uh, sleeves. The sleeves with artwork. It actually came with sleeves for everything. So I mean, I've paid a good ten bucks just for sleeves that weren't artwork. So oh, I'm really impressed with the quality. And I know we've we've played a few rounds here, and you guys had your high points that you enjoyed. Yes, this game is not only fun, but the uh, like you said, the... Uh, yeah, the quality. Amazing. All right. uh, I'll take one of those. So oh, these you. are the... Uh, okay. There's, there's a little card list here, and it, it tells you what the cards are, and it even tells you how many of each are in there. And uh, that's kind of neat, because once you've played a few rounds and you get the gist of it, you can almost kind of guess what the other guy has. And uh, so we're Okay, playing. so we need to pull out... Yeah, we're doing the three-player. Yeah, we need, we need to pull, to pull out, out uh, the Amigo brain case. Here's the Amigo brain case. There we go. And then we shuffle the rest <clears throat> and pull one for non-use. This yeah. is this is the random modifier there. We don't know what that is. And then the Amigo brain case and the deck, and everybody starts with one card. Now, if you've played Love Letter, you're probably really familiar with all of this. The interesting mechanic now is the insanity, which we'll kind of explain to you as we get along. Uh, you want to go first, Rex? Sure. So, okay. Uh, draw. We draw first, a card. First order of business, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> you draw a card and you play a card. And I play a card. So, pretty, pretty much the whole round. I play the investigators. I will name a number other than one and another player, and if they have that number in their hand, they are knocked out of the round. Do you have a five, Bill? Oh, you got me right off the ah! bat. Oh, 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 oh. Right off the bat. All right, so I'm out of the round. Okay, so. so that goes in the discard pile. That goes in. No, that goes in your discard pile. Oh, that's right. That goes yep. in my played pile. And now that was not an insanity card, so we no. don't have to worry about that, and it turn goes to Scott. So now we go around until... To one of the round people. continues until there's one left, and then we start a new round. Right. And okay. Then... And now I am playing a card called the Shining Trapezohedron. It's the insanity card that says that if I have any number higher than four in my hand, I must discard that the Shining Trapezohedron. Right. And so... Um, I can ignore it if I'm insane, but since this was my first insanity card, I'm not insane. Right. And now you're insane. Now you're and insane. now I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> now keep in mind too, that doesn't necessarily mean that that is higher than weird. No. He can play that without that being true. Right. But I have to play it if I have a card higher than four. Right. Unless you're cheating, but the rules do state specifically in that rule book not to play with people who cheat. Right. So it's my turn, and I'll skip because Rex already killed me. Yes. So now uh, <laughs> it's my second turn. Uh, I'm going to uh, play the investigators again. Do you have a... Oh, he's got the look. He's got an eight. Do you have an eight? Go fish. Oh! <laughs> Necronomicon. So, now, yeah. Rex that, is one. That's what we call in the industry a tell. That's right. Yeah. So, and, <clears throat> Rex has one, and he is still sane. 
So he gets a token. So I have a one. So in, or, in order to win the game, I must have two sane Sanity. tokens or three, or three insane. insane tokens. Okay. So now so that's round over because the round is over. But if it had not gone Scott's turn, he would have had to do a sanity check. Right. We'll we'll get to that. We'll, yeah, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get, we'll get there. there. All right. All right. All right. So Rex, your shuffle. <clears throat> your shuffle and your lead, sir. No, oh, here. Don't forget that one. Oh yeah. Yeah, we don't know what. Don't they forget the was. random. I didn't even look at it. Yep. That's one disadvantage of playing with these two is that. <laughs> <laughs> Scott what disadvantage had... of playing with me. When was the last time I won anything? Scott had the look <laughs> on his face like, oh, oh no, <laughs> you're going to guess my number. All right, you'd like to cut. No. Nah. All right. I want to know how you came up with five. I was expecting you to hit eight because that's your I know. move. I know. That's your move. I have refined my <laughs> tactics since last time. <laughs> I have refined my strategy. Give me your strategy. Okay. And since Rex won, he gets to go first. Okay, so the I'll previous round. go first again. Scott, do you have a five? No. Okay. See, there you go. That was easy. <laughs> Oh, you got the you got the non insane version of the same yeah, card. Yeah, I got the same version of the uh, of the number seven. All right, Rex, I would like to see your hand. Okay. Okay. So that was I played a, a two, and that lets me each of the cards, and again, they all have their effects listed. the The advantage to the insanity cards is they have an additional effect you you can opt to use or not use if you're cuckoo. So the the other the other way it went around, which I don't think we've ever had happen yet, is to exhaust the deck and the player with the highest number card in their, their hand, hand wins. wins. Yeah, but we've never made it. There. We've never made that far. The insanity. Uh, I it, feel if we played with five people, you could. We yeah, more players yeah. would definitely exhaust the deck faster. But I was going to say the ins insanity. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Mechanic? The, thank you. The insanity mechanic kind of uh, makes that a okay, non-issue. So it's my turn now? Yes. All right. <clears throat> you boot people out pretty fast or they go crazy and run away from the table screaming. Now, keep in mind, there is one other win condition, and I believe it is if you have two insanity cards in play, you make your insanity card, you make your insanity check, and then throw Cthulhu. Correct. You instantly win the entire game, regardless of tokens. I don't think it's the yes. entire game. No, it, no, it, it is. Yes, it's, it's, you, it's the entire game. Because the very first time we played, Scott won the game right, with, like, we, three hands. Because we, because we weren't... We, <laughs> because we didn't... Well, we were cheating, too, because yeah, we didn't know about the yeah, insanity we, we, mechanic. We, we didn't read about the insanity mechanic. <sighs> but, well, I tell you, and, and if you look, there are actually more insane cards than sane cards. Yeah. So that particular win by, condition... By, like, one, I think. Yeah, that particular win condition is going to be pretty rare. Uh, hysterical that we did it on our first game. Yeah. Even though we were not... Playing properly. Okay, well, Libra of Onus says, I cannot be chosen as part of the effects of any other player's cards until the end of my next turn. Okay. So now... And now I'm... Now you're... Well... So I'm not can, insane prior to playing this card. Right. So end you of have my to rounds, play... So now I'm insane. Yeah. Now you have to... You, the first insanity card, you have to play the sane effect. Correct. Now that you're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, you can play either effect right. after this round, yeah. For if any you, subsequent If card. I yeah. survive my if next you, insanity. If, if you don't leave the table screaming <laughs> and grabbing your head. Yeah. yeah. For, for, for any subsequent card you draw. If the voices don't tell you the game yeah. is over and you have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've never played Love Letter. 
but I really like the simplicity of this game. Once we got what, yeah, once you get a little... down, it it's fast, but there's nuance because you're only going through the deck once. We know how many cards of each are in the deck, right? So as we go through and we see cards played out, we get an we can you know right. we can get an idea of what might be available. I have to dodge an insanity card on my next turn because I have to draw right. as part of my sanity check. Yep. Okay, Bill, you have a seven. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are. How did you awful. get that? Good. Show. Okay, so now. My turn, sanity check. Sanity so check. So I have one insane card in my discard pile, so I have to draw one card, and it cannot, if it's an insane card, you're out. I'm out. Ooh, and you live to fight another All right. day. So now, now, I'm, you, now you draw your card. I'm sane enough to keep playing. The voices haven't told you to leave yet. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, like, do I, I mean. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, now I'm afraid. Oh, I'm out, so I can be afraid. I don't have to yes, be afraid. Yes, yes, you don't have to be afraid. Be thankful you're out, because the Migo have arrived. Oh, no. <laughs> Choose another player. Add their hand to yours. They they add the Migo brain case to their hand. <laughs> And I then discard a card. Oh, that's going to hurt. <laughs> so basically, if you can hang on for one more round, I think Rex well, is going to go cuckoo. Yeah. No, 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 it's worse than you think. Because I have to now discard one of these two cards. And they're both insane cards. Yes. So I have three. I have to pull three from the deck on my next... So what, what's the what's the? Uh... It doesn't. It's just a discard. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So you're not. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I don't think card. I actually play it. No, not on it. Not if you're discarding it no. because of a. No, the 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 <clears throat> the, the, the effect me... was the yeah. yeah was I the take Mago. Yeah, I yeah. take I take his hand, give him so the Mago brain case, three and then discard one. Yeah, cards. so so I now have to survive my sanity check, which, which you I did. did. Son of a nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> Good news is, a lot of the insanity cards are already in play. So, so I, yeah, I, I might one, two. Yeah. Oh. So now, so now, my only my only fear is drawing the eight. Right. Because if I draw the eight, I lose either way. Right. Eight. No. <laughs> so. Let's see. One, now, what, is that, what does the brain case do? It, if it's I, sitting up there. I keep if, I, if I have to discard that one, then I lose the round. Oh, you're, yeah. So yeah. if you have to discard So that I one. might as well leave it since he knows that's what I've got. Right. And my discard is that one. So now I have to survive two on my next turn if he survives wow. three on this one. Oops. Well, Hi, good face. news. A lot of insanity cards are already out. So I've got... A, I, I feel good about my chances. There's one. Oh, there's there's two. Oh, 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 oh. Holy oh, cow! You did it. <laughs> How in the holy world? Holy moly! Now I get to play. Now we're playing. Now, now, now we're playing. Now we're playing with power. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> get down, Hello. Down. Hey. Oh well, I don't want to do that. Can, is there a pass? Can I just pass? <laughs> I think you've got another insane discard. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to have to because I need to use the insane. Uh, I need to use the insane to keep myself alive. So, uh, I so choose... Uh, collect the hands of all other players. Give them back one card of your choice. Give them one Did card of your choice Do you want the Migo back. Brain Case? There I go. collect the Migo Brain Case, and I'll, you can have the Migo <laughs> Brain Case back. <laughs> okay, so now oh, I've got to survive two. two. Come yeah. on, you can do it. Yeah. You can do it. Come Hit on. a green. Oh, Come there's on. A, Ooh. There's the, oh, oh, man. Yeah. Victory. Oh, so, man. Right no, you get a, you get a if I would if that would have been backwards, if oh. those two would have been backwards, oh. I would have won. Oh. I would have won the entire game. Oh. Yep, that would have been game over. So yeah. I had 
I had Nar Nartholotep, right? Yeah. The the six, and I drew Randolph Carter the other six. So it basically choose another player and trade hands with them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, I can't do that. Right. Because his hands of me go right case. So I have to throw another insane just to stay, Jeez. just to keep going. I can't believe I survived the three. I can't believe it either. That was a crazy. What was the? What was the? Yeah. What was the? It doesn't even matter. Yeah. Pocket card was yeah. Professor Armitage. Yeah. It, it was the. It was the good five. Okay. The so. Good five. <laughs> Good guys are winning today. I like this. This is a good start. <laughs> Let's do this. I only got to win one more sane round. One more sane round. If you and two, or two, or or two, two insanes. I can, you two know. Two cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. If anybody's coming <coughs> in as an Man, insane. Now I'm craving Cocoa Puffs. Don't do that. I tell you this. Yeah, you're right. Uh, if you win a round with the insane effect of Cthulhu, you win. Yeah. Yeah, it's That's it's a game. Game over, man. Yes, right. Game yes, over. Right. We got the Kishi. Well. Ugh. All right, I think you're still up first, oh, right? Okay. I Which I, I think this is a bad mechanic because he keeps winning. Yeah, I, I know. It. I don't think it really. I, I, I'm just shocked you pulled off three insanity checks. Okay, um, Scott, discard your hand and draw a new card, and discard Cthulhu. Oh, this discard Cthulhu. <laughs> That's too bad. That's too bad. <clears throat> All right. All right. So, your turn, sir. I just didn't want to pick on Bill because he's been out twice early. So, <laughs> I wanted to see if he could get get to round two of his... It's, you know me. I'm just here for the game. I don't. I can't win. believe I, I, I nailed win. you on a five <laughs> on the first round. Oh. Rex. Yes, sir. You have a four. I do have a four. Oh! And Rex is gone! <laughs> well done, sir. Oh, how did you shit. how did you pull that? Did I show my hand? Nope. Was I? Uh, All right, you ready? Yep. Let me see your hand. If it's lower than mine, you're out. Kablam! All right, I win. <laughs> <laughs> I get a cuckoo. <laughs> that was a quickie. That was a quickie. Oh uh, well, okay. So, did the one you play? Yeah, it's the one he played was insane. If if his card was lower than mine, oh, so you played the hands? Yeah, I yeah. Played yeah. So you do, so you if his card it. was lower than mine, you do get an insane. I token. knocked him out. Yeah. So and I had Cthulhu. Right. So well, obviously I couldn't that, discard Cthulhu. That was a one-two punch right there. That was well, that was well a done. nice quick round. <laughs> that was what would have a happened beautiful if we had tied? Huh? What would have happened if I had had the eight? Then we uh, then uh, it's a. I believe I if there's a tie, it's a no effect. Right? Okay, that's right. That's right. I think it's a, we, we, it's a no effect, and we just move on. I, yeah, well, and, and Which means we would both be sitting here with an eight, knowing that we could <laughs> one, one of the great <laughs> things about this game, not only do the cards have their effects printed on them, but the book has extended yes, uh, card text. An in-depth card text of what's going so on. Let's, so which, that was Hound of Tindalos, which was... Right. Uh, what number was it? Five, three. Three. three, three, yeah. It's so it's three. the same as Great Race of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except um, that, uh, it, the, except for the insane effect. The player the with a lower side. number is knocked out of the round in case of a tie. Nothing happens. So yeah. it says it's, right in it's the book. Just, yeah, it's just a null. So among the many things I like about this game, that's another yeah, one. is that there's a, a, a very distinct. All right, all right. I, you get to go first this time. Woohoo! All right. I got the silver key. Must discard if I have higher than a four. Which I would, that, and that must include this card, I would assume. No. If your other card is higher than a four. Oh. Well, either way. Yeah. Okay. You must if it's higher if another card is higher than a four. Okay. You can. Do you have a five? No. Okay. Very fixated on these fives, and I haven't figured out why. I'm, that's why I'm very happy that you haven't figured out why. Rex, we're gonna compare hands. Okay. Lower her number is knocked out. I'm out. Nice. All right. I was afraid that. All right. Sanity check. Woohoo! You are still sane. Despite what everyone says. <laughs> Actually, you don't have to compare that card. You compare your hand. 
Yeah, that's... Yeah. Okay. I actually had this miniature. It was a Raffam miniature. Remember him? Uh -oh. It was like a little cone with the four tentacles. Oh, okay. And it had claws. And okay, these Bill. Ears. I remember this from the Deities and Demigods, first yeah. edition. Okay, Bill. You get to uh, discard your card and draw a new hand. It's your turn. Scott, do you have a one? No. Oh. You can't choose a one. Oh, you can't? Other than one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have a three? No. Okay. So I knew it wasn't a one. <laughs> well, that was stupid. I have the threes. Oh, well, there's still the insane. Still, I was going to say, there's still the insane threes. Yeah, there's still the insane threes. All right. I'm still going for a sanity check. Okay. Oh, and nice I'm still one. sane. Okay. Dang. See, now this, uh, the sanity mechanic has not been as evil this game as it has been in some previous ones. Well, there's yeah. less insane on the board right now, so sanity checks are dicey yeah. at the moment. Okay, Bill? Mm hmm. You and I got to trade hands. Hmm. You give him something good? <laughs> I'm just hoping to survive. Now, can I choose myself when it says choose another player? No. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Most guys are. Choose any player, they must discard their hand and draw a new card. <clears throat> Ooh. So now it's your turn. You must make two insanity checks. Yeah. And I'm probably toast, right? Ooh, Ooh, there's one. There's one. Never go. Oh, never say never. Holy crud. Necronomicon. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He knows well, what happened. He yeah, gave it yeah, to yeah, he gave it well, to Well, I just won the whole game. Oh! Holy moly! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Nicely nice done. Pull. Nice pull. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because yeah, so, so. he gave me that card. <laughs> <laughs> I was just hoping he wouldn't draw one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, no, I, I I don't think I would have made the next insanity check, so you don't yeah. it anyway. <clears throat> but not the whole game, because right. You know. Yeah. Right. So that you know, there it is, quick, down and dirty. We usually do a little recap afterwards, but we we've, we've been babbling about how much we like this game and what we like about it. Unless you want to add anything extra. Uh, it's amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. These are clay poker chips. They're like this is quality. Uh, yeah. I, I I was amazed when you opened this thing up. How. Well done. I, yeah, thing. it just yeah. production wise, it is extremely. Like I said, I was a love letter game for thirty bucks, uh, and then I opened it up and went, "Whoa, what a bargain for thirty bucks!" You know. One one of the things that I like about it, the cards are big enough, and the font yeah. is big enough that you can read it. Yeah, so scrumpy old men, we need the uh, tarot uh, sized cards. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> the only the only thing that I might say about it is that they've got the green on the green, and you can't always read the green on the green. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's, that's it's a, still. It is a pretty minor. Yeah, that, 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 that's a minor. That. That's a minor point yeah. in in the whole thing. And but I, I still love the game. The game yeah. is great fun. I yeah. highly recommend it. And, to, and, 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 we were saying that, the fact that the the rules go into every single card to let you know, you know, oh, this didn't quite explain it, or what's on the card leaves some vagary to it, or something. Nope. Yeah. What happens all, if there's a tie? It's, it's all, all in depth there. in the booklet for every single card. And then, yeah. So, uh, I, 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 honestly, I give this a ten out of ten. I, I couldn't like this better. I couldn't like it more. So, um, but yeah, uh, we're we're uh, we're pretty happy with that, and we'll we'll see you guys again next week, I guess.